Okay, so in this video I'm going to look at um, some of the games written by games developer Nick West. Uh, Nick came originally from the UK and moved to the US. Um, he's most famous for his work on the, the Tony Hawk um, skateboarding games. But um, for this video I'm going to be looking at the Amiga games that he made uh, between 1989 and 1992. Uh, so there were six in total, uh, starting off with Steve Davis, Will Snooker, and going through to Lethal Weapon. Looking at his uh, Moby Games profile, he worked on 28 games. Um, so the games I'm going to be looking at are the earliest games from 1989 um, up to 1992. And Nick said in the interview on Code Tapper's Amiga site, um, that with Lethal Weapon he, he got a payment from that which enabled him to move to the States and then he worked in the States um, so in 1999, in 1999 he started working on Tony Hawk's um, PlayStation games and these are the games that um, he's probably best known for but I'm going to focus on the Amiga games in this video so kicking off with uh, Steve Davis Snooker this was his first Amiga game. Opponent to break. First of all, you choose the game type that you want to play. Um, the white ball um, allows you to put spin on the ball and to start to kick off you can up, uh, position the white ball and then uh, click play shot and then you would um, position the cue um, to, to choose the direction of the white ball and then play a shot Bowl stroke, Steve Davis to play so I've made a foul stroke and Steve Davis has kicked off and played the black stroke, opponent to play <laughs> Okay, I'll try and do it without uh, making a foul shot. Okay. And then Steve Death's his turn. Let's see if I can at least pot one of the balls. Another power stroke. And part of the brown. Bowl stroke. Steve Davis to play. Okay. Well, Steve's doing quite well. Moving quickly. Okay, get another go. Okay, so you get the get the idea. That's that's the first game, and then uh, I'll move on to the next one. Okay, this is the next game, uh, Rotox. Um, I have tried these games on the A500 Mini, and they all worked okay. Um, but for purposes of the video. I'm going to be running them on the emulator and we'll see if they work okay on that. We're getting a bit of lag here but I'm um, starting to get the idea. This game looks kind of interesting, but I'm struggling to figure it out. I'll have to try that one again a bit later. Graphics look quite good. Okay, so this is a UN Squadron. This is a coin op conversion.
I like going down on the screen on that game. Um, don't think it's working too well with the emulator. I hope you get the idea. Okay, so this next game is uh, Darkman. This was written for uh, Ocean Software and Nick was working in Manchester. I think you have to uh, shoot the fella running across. Not doing too well. Controls on the emulator are not working too well. Uh, so it's like a fairly standard beat em up. You can pick up the what looks like blocks of wood. Okay, so. I guess that gives the idea on that one. Okay, so this game is Parasol Stars uh, when Mick was working at Ocean, 1992. <laughs> Now this game was working pretty well on the F100 Mini and again I've got some controller issues but a nice looking game. Um, come back to this one I think. Okay so this uh, final game is uh, Lethal Weapon. Uh, so this is the last game that Mick worked on before I went to the States. So that's uh, a quick uh, look at um, Mixed Games on the Amiga. Um, nice to see that he started out with the ZX81 um, and then moved on to the Spectrum and the ST and the Amiga. So there's a few games there to look at on the A400 Mini. And thanks for watching.